<laughs> it is September 5th. This is the mayor and council meeting. Linda, will you please call the meeting to order and read the Open Public Meetings Act announcement. In compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act, the notice requirements have been satisfied. The meeting dates for the year are confirmed at the annual meeting, are posted on the public bulletin board in the municipal building and on the borough website, published in the record within the first 10 days of the new year, and copies are sent to the Ridgewood News and Star Ledger. Notice of this meeting by the August 26, 2024 Sunshine Notice was sent to the record, the Ridgewood News and Star Ledger, and has been posted on the public bulletin board in the municipal building and borough website. Councilman Deloisio. Here. Councilwoman Homan. Councilwoman Lovisolo. Here. Councilman O'Toole. Here. Councilman O'Connell. Here. Councilman Yaccarino. Here. Mayor Wilsinski. Here. Everybody, please stand to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag, the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All righty. <clears throat> Next, we have approval of minutes, July 18th, July, um, I'm sorry, and August 15th. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second? Second. Okay. Councilman Deloisio? Uh Yes, on July 18th, both, and abstain on the 15th of August. Okay. Councilwoman Lovisolo? Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Abstain on July 18th, both, and yes, for August 15th. Councilman, um, I'm sorry, close my jar. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Macarino? Yes. yes. All right, next we have agenda review. Uh, we have two ordinances for second reading. The first ordinance is 24-13. This is to amend the code um, to prohibit smoking of marijuana, vaping and aerosoling of cannabis and marijuana in public places. We currently do have a no smoking um, ordinance, but we are just amending it to include cannabis and marijuana. It's the same thing. And vaping. And vaping. Isn't cannabis and marijuana the same thing? Illegal and illegal. Marijuana is a vaping cannabis. Oh, did not know that. Um, our second ordinance, 24-14, is to amend Chapter 53, the code, officers and employees. We are we had a, a little bit of a reorganization of our crossing guards and the Public Safety Committee. Um, looked at where we had all the crossing guard stations, decided that we needed to add another one in a specific location, and we also eliminated the lunchtime since children no longer go to school. So we are now offering our crossing guards a little bit um, more money so they keep the same hours and uh, hopefully we'll retain them. And next we have our consent agenda, which are matters that are considered uh, routine. However, there's a few um, interesting ones here. We have appointment of our new DPW um, employee, Jose Joseph Martinello. So now um, we are pretty much uh, at full complement at our DPW department. So Andy should be happy. And um, we also have a resolution authorizing disposal of surplus property uh, by auction. So we're going to be going through a lot of our old equipment and we're going to try to auction it off and actually we've made some pretty good um revenue in the past so with that i'd like to open it up to the public for any comments on agenda items only <clears throat> anybody from the public wish to come anybody out there <laughs> not seeing anybody i'll bring it back walter no walter is right <clears throat> Um, so next, uh, we have Ordinance 24-13, as I just um, talked about, um, amending Chapter 223. Um, do we have um, anybody from the public that, was, that wishes to comment on Ordinance 24-13? I'll read the title first. Or the following ordinance published herewith was first read by title only on August 15, 2024, and posted on the bulletin board of the lobby of the municipal building and borough website. Ordinance 24-13, an ordinance to amend Chapter 223 of the Code of the Borough of Allendale to expressly prohibit in public places within the borough, of, within the borough smoke and vaping or aerosoling of cannabis and marijuana. 
Again, anybody from the public have any comments on 24-13? Not seeing it, bring it back. Ordinance 24-14 for a second. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, motion to approve. Ordinance. Thank you. Second, please. Second. Okay, roll call. Mm -hmm. Councilman Delavisio? Yes. Councilwoman Lovisolo? Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Yaccarino? Yes. <clears throat> Um, ordinance 24-14, second reading and public hearing. Please read the title. The following ordinance published herewith was first read by title only on August 15th, 2024 and posted on the bulletin board of the lobby of the Municipal Building and Borough website. Ordinance 24-14, an ordinance to amend Chapter 53 of the Code of the Borough of Allendale, officers and employees, to fix the salaries, wages, and compensation of the officers and employees of the Borough of Allendale for the year 2024. Anybody from the audience wish to comment on Ordinance 24-14? Not seeing anybody. Do I have a motion to approve Ordinance 24-14? So moved. Second, please. Second. I'll call. Councilman Delavisio? Yes. Councilwoman Lovisola? Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Yaccarino? Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Second. Roll call. Councilman Deloisio? Yes. Councilwoman Lovisolo? Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Yaccarino? Yes. All right. Next, we have our council reports. Councilman Yaccarino, you're up. Thank you, Mayor. I'll keep it brief this evening. This past Tuesday, we had an Allendale Sports Alliance meeting. Um, we met for a little over an hour and we discussed a variety of topics the past season, some scheduling updates, as well as going into the fall season, uh, where we stand with a lot of our field conditions and how we can best approach long-term solutions uh, so we can keep things in nice operating shape. So we're really excited to get a lot of those initiatives underway and the meeting was very well received. Um, next week, September 10th and 11th, the New Jersey Motor Vehicle Commission will be returning to the firehouse. Um, all real ID appointments at this time are taken, but they are taking walk-ins for certain smaller items, license plate returns and such. Um, I'll ask Julia to send out a reminder on that. And lastly, Allison had reached out to me and she just wanted me to um, express our gratitude to Linda for her help with the concession stand bid documents. We know that we were somewhat new to the process and Allison wanted to express her gratitude to you um, and myself personally to you and Allison for working with us on the bid specs. We know that we kind of had to start from scratch with you know, some respects and we were able to pull it together. Um, and to summarize, uh, we will be uh, receiving bids currently and we'll be looking to award the project in the very near future. So Excellent. very excited. And of course, we had the end of Crestwood this Monday. Thank you to everyone who always helps make Crestwood such a memorable season and we'll be having an end of year meeting very soon. And thank you for all your work you did at Crestwood. Um, it was a great year. Thank you for your support. Super. Councilman O'Connell. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, I'd first like to say uh, my condolences go out to the Moran family. Uh, very unfortunate passing of Sharon. I had the pleasure of uh, working with her on the Fellhouse board and uh, talking with some uh, former teachers. She was class mother, and it's hard to find I can't find anyone to say anything bad about her, and she will be missed. She was one of the good ones from Allendale, so my condolences go out to their family. She was, and she, um, you know, grew up in Allendale as well. Her her family still lives here, and she was she was a bright light. It was absolutely tragic, and Allendale really lost one of its gems for sure. Thanks for bringing that up. And that's all I have today. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Councilman Delawisio. Thank you, Mayor. So the DPW committee, we had a meeting on August 29th. Um, actually, your mayor was there and also our our borough administrator, Allison Altano, was there. Uh, we discussed the several things going on around the borough. I mean, the DPW guys are continuing their diligent work, as always, um, fix, fixing potholes as they can. Um, Andy, our superintendent, has been doing a great job in the uh, it's only been nine months since he's been here, but uh, I'm very pleased to see the uh, resolution on the consent agenda about getting rid of some more surplus equipment. I think that's going to be good for the borough. Uh, we have a lot of stuff that's just outdated and just not usable anymore, and I think it's going to bring in some revenue and get us an opportunity to clean up the stuff yeah, we have that we're not going to use, so it's it's really a good thing. 
Um, I know Crestwood, the guys were working to prepare for the closing of Crestwood. Uh, they're going to continue to check the water quality. So throughout the, uh, when we get ready to start to drain that, uh, they are evaluating a water loss that uh, we're having from somewhere. We found some puddles in the parking area. Uh, we're not sure where the water is coming from, but it's coming from somewhere. So once the water level goes down and we start to drain, uh, we'll be able to see what's going on there. Uh, Andy is continuing to work with Mike Vreeland, our borough engineer, to assess you know, potential flooding areas. And I know our uh, borough planner at Snikus is also working on something to kind of help the borough with some of the flooding issues we've had with some of the storms. So that's ongoing. I'm um, happy to say that our new mechanic has started. Uh, it's going to be great to have him on board. I think he's he's been here for about a week. Um, I'm glad to see that, that we approved tonight the appointment to Joe Martinello, mm -hmm. which is great. He, uh, he was a part-time employee, and he's done a great job so far. And I expect nothing but good things from him moving forward. Uh, I know the DPW has been working to prep for our 9-11 services up at, up at the Red Barn, and that's ongoing and being prepared. And for those of you who remember, I mentioned uh, giving away wood chips that we had stored in the back of DPW. Uh, we made a decision to cancel that uh, as we began to start to turn the pile over and really get ready for our residents to come and take some of that. Uh, we found that the pile was more deteriorated and rotted and it just wasn't good material. So we made a decision to cancel that. So that's that's where we are. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Councilwoman Levisola. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, I just want to uh, thank Ed for mentioning our incredible friend, Sharon. Um, she was to her family, a, a cherished mother, a wife, daughter, a sister, and more. She was an all in volunteer on everything she was a part of. And um, she was a big supporter of this Marin Council. So we, uh, we will miss her very, very much. Um, I also want to just give my condolences to um, Gwen, uh, the McCarthy family, Gwen McCarthy, a former borough clerk of Allendale, um, passed away. We were just notified of that. I think it was yesterday, Amy. Um, yeah. I'm trying to remember. Um, and then I'm going to um, defer my reports until our next council meeting when I will be there in person. But I just want to remind everyone that this Saturday um, at Crestwood is Family Day fundraiser um, that Lee Memorial Library is putting on for families in Allendale. So be there and have some fun yet again at Crestwood. Great. Thank you very much. Councilman O'Toole. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the Public Safety Committee has not met since our last council meeting due to this extremely busy time of year. Uh, our next meeting has been set for Monday the 16th, the week after it normally would be. All in all, though, all is well around town. The public is safe. Uh, <laughs> finally, just as a reminder, Gary Letizia Memorial Blood Drive will once again take place at the firehouse. Uh, this will be on September 26th from 1 to 7 p.m. Uh, the AB&G is now a partner with us on this drive. They will be offering a pint or a pint. So come on down, roll up your sleeves and get a pint of beer or a glass of wine or soda. On the A, B, and G. Is it a glass of wine or a pint? That's two different things. Well, <laughs> you can take that up the with glass a glass of wine. I'll give them a pint of wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look for I don't really want to give anyone in this room a pint of wine. That's all I've got. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Next, we have our staff report. Linda, our clerk. Um, I don't really have much to say uh, to report from the clerk's office, but I do want to um, compliment Allison on the many wonderful improvements yeah, downstairs yeah. within the borough hall. Woo -woo! It looks great. Amazing. And what a difference, you know, it makes. It really is. It's just nice to walk in there yeah. right now. The floor looks so good. Yeah. Um, and I also want to say that um, it was my first time going to Crestwood Lake. I brought my daughter Lynn! and my son. Oh. On our day off when they were renovating here. Yeah, yeah. And um we all loved it. Oh, it was amazing. So it was happy. beautiful. Uh, my daughter wants to go back. <laughs> um and she can, you know. Yeah. Um, but no, she was just amazed by just how pretty it how is, right? beautiful it yeah. was. Oh, how cool. Cool. That makes me really happy that this yeah, got to So that was amazing. And I also wanna um send my condolences to the family and friends of uh, Gwen McCarthy, who um I did not have the honor to you know, to know. I didn't have the pleasure of meeting her, but um, I do know that she was a big part of um, the clerk's office. She was. Borough of Allendale. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. Uh, thank you. Chief Mike Dillon. Well, thank you, Madam Mayor. The school year is in full swing. Officers, including our three special officers, have been focusing attention in and around the schools. Uh, the police department encourages parents and students to take advantage of the borough's 13 crossing guards and walk to school. Enjoy the weather, save the hassle of finding parking, and get some exercise. Good to I love it. Speaking Good of exercise, today. the police department has formed a partnership with local moms and school officials to reach a specific demographic, girls grades 6 through 8, through a program to encourage healthy habits and decision making uh, through an exercise based curriculum culminating in a 5k later this year interested residents can visit the girls on the run website to sign up and our ice cream is that yes we Did you finalized the ice cream yet oh all right we want to know <laughs> that i think you want me serving which is fine <laughs> what's the word we were going to have coffee with a cop, but we thought it would be cute to make ice cream with a cop, but we have to wait. You can't announce that yet because we'll have a line of kids waiting, <laughs> waiting for ice cream. And they're going to get they coffee. Call, call with the cop. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. That's true. Determined. All righty. Borough Attorney, right? Away. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, a few things uh, of note. The, the mayor and I this evening uh, reviewed the uh, joint defense agreement on the affordable housing litigation um, that the mayor has referred to in prior reports uh, initiated by the Borough of Montfell. Um, so uh, uh, we went over all the details of that. So uh, um, the borough can proceed on that as, as it pleases moving forward. Um, Veolia actually canceled our uh, our phone conference that would have been scheduled for today. Um, again, I think vacation really uh, was the, uh, the reason for that. Uh, we'll pick up with them uh, next week, although our office has been exchanging additional information with respect to uh, easements and rights of way trip. and other matters. Um, yes, and uh, I guess on August 29th, uh, the mayor, Councilwoman Holman, uh, myself, um, our uh, DPW director, uh, and our borough engineer uh, all met with uh, representatives of NJDEP Green Acres uh, on the uh, the site at New Street. Uh, as you recall, there's an area of that property that we are proposing to dedicate as passive recreation, uh, and uh, this was the chance for DEP to see the property. Uh, we had previously given them renderings or schematics of the property uh, and to give us any of their suggestions. Uh, and we'll be meeting uh, in short order to discuss those suggestions and how we might move forward with the uh, the process. Uh, you recall that uh, when we get this aspect done and reach agreement with Green Acres, there is a significant sum being held in escrow as part of our Veolia transaction that then gets to be returned to the borough. So obviously that's something that's uh, near and dear to everyone's hearts. Uh, we submitted today our... Uh, a settlement proposal with respect to the PK litigation. There is a settlement conference scheduled a week from Monday. Uh, we'll all keep our fingers crossed that uh, there's a positive discussion. I think that the mayor and perhaps Mayor Emeritus Barrow will be uh, joining us uh, at the conference at the courthouse. Hopefully we can get some work done there. Uh, discussion uh, this evening with respect to some proposed bylaw amendments involving the fire department and some other uh, related issues. And lastly, I discussed with uh, TJ and Tom, this morning, the, uh, the status of the cell towers, uh, there were five bidders uh, who bid on the uh, the proposal, uh, which uh, should result in a significant increase in the revenue stream for the borough. Uh, three of the contracts from those five successful bidders are now in hand. I's are being dotted, T's are being crossed. We're waiting to receive the other two. And when that step is completed, uh, there are three additional slots on the cell tower. It could be the subject of a uh, a future proposal. That's it, Mayor. Yes, very grateful for all the work done on that cell tower. Um, that was uh, it's a nice uh, bonus that we weren't really uh, expecting. There's not a lot of resources for revenue in the borough, so um, this is going to be a big difference for us. Okay, I'm going to have my report now. Um, 210 West Crescent, also known as the Allendale Community Center is looking really good. I'm getting, getting a lot of inquiries from residents, but it is not open yet. We are hoping to have some type of soft opening, maybe mid-November. Uh, we still need the uh, generator to go in. We still need all the security to go in, as well as the um, entrance um, uh, technology. But um, it is looking beautiful. I think it's gonna be a wonderful addition um, to the community. We are just very fortunate that we actually have this space if everybody remembers going back to 2018, there was a lot of, uh, we went out to bid and there was a lot of other bid bidders. And this was the only one that allowed to have a residential piece, a commercial piece and a municipal piece. Um, the rest were all condos. 
So if we did not go with this um, one developer and something fell through, uh, that's what we were would have been facing in Allendale. So um, I know people are going to ask, why is the gym not full size gym? That is the reason we had a certain amount of space that we had to work with and we used it the best that we could. So I'm um, very excited to have this and I think the community is going to um, really enjoy it. So um, for preparation, we are um, going to have the heads of all the organizations come in, have a quick tour, and um, we're collecting data to see how each of the organizations can imagine themselves using this space. Also at Borough Hall, I know everybody's been doing research with other communities, seeing how they rent their space. So we really want to make sure it's as buttoned up as possible. It's not going to be perfect, but as buttoned up as possible because we've never done something like this before. Um, so um, I know everybody's going to want to use it, and we really want to try to keep it open to as many people as we can. So um, that is all to be coming uh, in the near future. I'm also going to send a memo out pretty much explaining all that to Allendale residents so everybody's um, up on everything. So September 11th, um, lots of planning for that. Our our speaker this year is our one of our very own, um, who is a former police officer and FBI agent, uh, Tim LaTurner. So he's going to be talking about his experiences that he had there at 9-11, and he's going to be talking about the future and the past of 9-11. As uh, Ray mentioned, uh, fair share housing is always top of mind. We have our uh, joint defense agreement that we are entering um, with the spearheading from the Montvale mayor and with um, several other municipalities. Actually, I just completed a memo that will be going out to all the residents explaining this as well. Um, this is something that is evolving, changing. We're supposed to get our new numbers next month, but we'll, we will see. But we are definitely on top of it and we'll, um, we'll, educate and talk about it as much as we can um, to be as transparent as possible to the community. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, yes, uh, rest in peace, Gwen McCarthy, uh, our clerk. She was our clerk for 15 years. Um, I was here when I was when I first became a council person. Uh, she was the clerk and she was so kind, invited me in her office. Um, any time would just go through everything with me. I mean, we, we were just, I was pretty much, you know, brand new, didn't know much um, about being a council person. And she was really patient mm -hmm. and just lovely, lovely person inside it out. So we will, we will miss her. Um, um, our next town hall is on the 17th of September. We uh, listened to Allendale residents and we're having the DEP come in and Tycho come in talking about deer management. So we expect a full house and that flyer should be going out um, today or tomorrow. So our new director of communications has been very, very busy. Um, and with that, is there any uh, new business? Any unfinished business? I'd like to open up the meeting to the public to speak on any uh, matters at this time. Anybody from the public? Not seeing anybody, motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. All in favor. Aye. Bye. Bye.